In both prokaryotes and eukaryotes, the mature, biologically active form of messenger RNA consists of three main parts. The first part is a five-prime, untranslated leader sequence, then a central protein coding sequence containing a start codon and stop codon, and finally a three-prime, untranslated trailer sequence. In prokaryotes, the initially synthesized RNA transcript is the mature mRNA. In other words, the mRNA is directly translated into a specific polypeptide with no further modifications. Because prokaryotes lack a nuclear membrane, cytoplasmic ribosomes start translating the mRNA transcript before RNA polymerase has completed transcription. Therefore, in prokaryotes, transcription and translation occur simultaneously. In eukaryotes, there is a nuclear membrane, so transcription and translation occur separately. The primary transcript is a precursor mRNA molecule, which is processed in the nucleus by the addition of a 5' prime cap and 3' prime poly A tail, and by the removal of introns, the non-amino acid coding segments separating the exons of the transcript to produce the mature mRNA. When that mRNA is transported to the cytoplasm, translation occurs. The first step in the processing of the eukaryotic pre-mRNA is the addition of a 5' prime cap. After RNA polymerase has transcribed 20 to 30 nucleotides, a capping enzyme adds a guanine nucleotide to the 5' prime end of the transcript with an unusual 5' prime to 5' prime phosphodiester bond. Next, methylation enzymes add methyl groups to the end guanine and to the sugars of the next two nucleotides. The cap is essential for the ribosome to recognize and bind to the mature mRNA in the cytoplasm. After transcription is complete, the 3' prime end is modified by the addition of 50 to 250 adenine nucleotides. There is no transcription termination sequence at the end of the gene, and in some cases, RNA polymerase may continue to transcribe thousands of nucleotides beyond the end of a gene. There exists a sequence, AAUAAA, in the pre-mRNA, which occurs in the 3' UTR after the stop codon. A few cleavage proteins recognize this sequence and cut the pre-mRNA 10 to 30 nucleotides downstream of the AAUAAA signal. Another enzyme, poly-A polymerase, catalyzes the addition of the poly-A tail at this recently cut 3' terminus. The presence of the poly-A tail results in a more stable mature mRNA, protecting it from degradation by ribonucleases in the cytoplasm. The pre-mRNA transcript contains expressed exon sequences separated by non-amino acid coding intron sequences. RNA processing removes the introns. The intron is recognized by various complexes of small nuclear RNAs and nuclear proteins called SNRPs. The SNRPs bind to the intron, then cut the left end of the intron away from the upstream exon. Next, they loop the intron back, cut the right end away from the downstream exon, and splice the two exons together. The result is mature mRNA. After it has been modified, the mature mRNA passes through the nuclear membrane. It is recognized by ribosomes in the cytoplasm, where translation begins. <laughs>